What's going on YouTube? This is your boy T, and I'm back with another video. Um, today is a very, very special day. We reached 700 subscribers. I just want to say thank you. Uh, I got a notification day while I was at work, and Cam is lit. I believe that's his name on YouTube. Uh, he sent a comment and said, hey, I'm your 700 subscriber, blah, blah, blah. I, went, I was like, 700? I was like, wait. I went on there real quick, and I said, oh, Wow. I said, man, I appreciate the support. So I just want to take the time and say thank you to everybody who been rocking out with me, everybody who, you know, watch my videos, who want to see my stock portfolio go up, go down, go side to side. And let, basically, let me be the piggy, guinea pig, excuse me. Let me be on some piggy bank. But let me be the guinea pig. But eventually, I will be the piggy bank uh, because I'm trying to get these, you know what I'm saying, these coins and funds up. With that being said, I am here to showcase uh my portfolio for people who are just joining in or have found my channel and just trying to gauge on how i do things uh i do keep up keep you guys up with uh my portfolio here and then on top of that also try to give you guys insight and new things that i find and discover and just keep y'all in the loop because at the end of the day we all want to make money and we all trying to find the next side hustle the next whatever it is so stick around with your boy Watch me, watch you, do whatever it is, uh, and just peep how, how I rock out. All right, but with that being said, and yes, we're still doing a giveaway for the people that put y'all numbers in on the comment section of the other video. Yes, we're still doing a giveaway. I might end the giveaway maybe Christmas time. I haven't decided yet. I still want to give people ample enough time to, you know, put their number in, their submission. So with that being said, after you check this video out, if you haven't already, go to the other video. I might just even add it at the end of this video so you can just click it. Uh, to go ahead and put your number in and watch the video. You, you'll you follow the instructions once you see what kind of type of time I'm on. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into it. Portfolio today, uh, as you guys see, it went up all the way to 24.74. Not bad, and then it dropped down at the end of the day because some people decide to put their money out. They want to whoop, whoop. It is what it is, but then next week come... It is what it is. So far, right now, I invested. I got $2,400 in, negative $13. And these are my stocks that I own. Uh, Water Drop has been doing really well for me. Uh, no, I did not drop. I always say this. I did not drop $1,000 into a stock at one particular time. This is overtime. Uh, this is growth. Uh, this is me putting in here, putting in there, putting in there. So it, it builds over time. So don't think you got to have $1,000 just to start, just to get going, just to do, you know, stocks. Start out with a dollar, start out with five, start out with 20, 10, whatever you got, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you don't mind losing. Uh, and that's that. So with that being said, the game that I'm playing right now, I said this in the other video, I got 800 shares. I'm trying to get to 1,000 shares. The reason being is because if this stock go to $2, I can have $2,000 off rip. And then once I get to a thousand, I'll probably just chill out and let it just build. If you get to three dollars per share, three times a thousand, do the math. Um, my goal is for this stock to get to ten dollars. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Nobody know how long that's gonna take. Uh, but with that being said, that's my goal. I don't want to be too greedy, but I don't want to undercut it. If you get to ten, I might even still just hold on to it because if it reach up to ten right now, it's doing a slightly progression, you know. Uh, like I say, I always go to all. It started up high. It's a brand new stock, and then it dropped. So that's that's normal. And then to go to the year. The year was one thirty seven, and it went up to one sixty one. So within a year, it went up like thirty cent. Let's just say thirty cent, uh, more or less. Within a month, one forty one or one forty, to one to the one sixty one. So twenty cent within a month, within a week. It's at 155 and 160, so it went up roughly five six cents or so. And then within a day, it went to 162 and it's at 161. So it ain't really do nothing today, but go up and get down. I could have took out some money here and up here, but what's the point if it's still just, you know, just ride the wave? Uh, don't ride it too long because you might miss out on your opportunity. Prime example, I could have made probably 150 from this portion up here. And instead of the 127, you know, but if it's long term, that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to get to a thousand. So <laughs> do the math. You feel me? Got to be patient. Stocks is a patient game. What makes the stock prices go up and down is basically uh, supply and demand. 
how many people are selling it, how many people are willing to buy. If you have more people willing to buy versus sell, it's sending to the top. If you got everybody selling their stock and cashing out, it dropped down. That's that's the best way I can put it. That's the simplest way I can put it. Um, that was a question from a previous video that I had. Uh, and going on to the next stock, Sono. Sono has kind of turned around for me. Uh, they are fairly new stock as well. 21. And it went down. Kind of mellow out. And the year. Still going down. The month. They were at 131. End up at 137. So in the month, they only went up 6 cents. So like I said, you're like, oh, 6 cents. That ain't nothing. But when you talk about shares, you got, if I put in a share here and then, you know, sell it up here, I make that profit from whatever this is to up top. Um, it does get more in-depth. It gets more in-depth than just that, but I'm just showing you guys, like, you know, my portfolio. I don't want to get too in tune and getting too technical because when you get too technical, it don't start to make sense. Like, what? What are you talking about? It started feeling like that. So just showing you guys uh, my portfolio currently. Um, Chesapeake. Remember, I took out what I had and kept $100 in there. So far, I gained $4. $100, as you can see, people, $100 is, is no offense, but it's chump change when you're trying to have a bigger profit. $100 on right now on this stock only got me $4, but $1,000 on this one got me $127, and it's going to keep going up. So you just kind of got to play it like, well, Corey, you telling me you had to put in a thousand dollars just to get a hundred dollar profit, and then I go to say, uh, yeah. You telling me you put in a hundred dollars just to get a four dollar profit? I'm like, uh, yeah. Because how I see it is, if I have a thousand dollars and I have it sitting in the bank, right? If my thousand dollars just made a hundred dollars, wouldn't you take that? Or wouldn't you say, hey, like, come on, like, for real, for real? Would you would you let your money rather sit somewhere? And not be doing anything, or would you rather have your money sit somewhere and potentially could gain gain you more money? To me, I'm gonna take that chance with the piece of the pie that I'm willing to lose. I'm gonna take a chance with that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when it comes down to it, whether this thousand dollars I put towards the stock goes up or go down, I'm not tripping off that. But at the same time, if I put this thousand dollars over to the side and then go up, I'm like, wait a minute, come on, man. I just came up. Easy money, simple. I ain't lift the finger except for, I guess, pushing the button to add money to the stock. Um, and pushing the button to add, to take money from the stock. But it's all it's all a gamble. Uh, another thing, Amazon, I put 100 in. I lost $4. So go figure. One of them, I gained $4. The other one, I lost $4. At the same time, how much is it? Stock share is $94. And they did the split. Um, user testing, but I got in at three, 300 or something. So I have 40 shares and just kind of rocking out, kind of see it, seeing what the, what the motion is. Negative $36, not tripping about it. Cause eventually look at all this up and down movement. This is a lot of up and down movement. And this, this particular stock to me is more so a long term. I almost thought it's a long term, but this is for sure long term because you see what it's doing it looked like somebody could buy buy a piece of a stock and then it go up and they can sell it and it go down it go up. it's just too much of it's very blocky on this so i don't know what user testing got going on but i'm gonna just ride away once again uh they did have a big spike uh like a month ago let me see right here they had a big spike and i was like they went from three dollars to seven so i was like what it was kind of weird uh, what else I got? Version Galactic Holding. Mm, they ain't not really doing nothing for your boy. And I'm negative. I got nine shares and I'm negative $50. They're not doing nothing for your boy right now. Just hold on to it. See what goes up. Uh, and Kroger. I got 10 shares still. And negative $67. Which, you know, they're like, well, Corey, you're losing money. Yeah, you're losing money. Uh, tomato, tomato. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Um, so how you get out the negatives, uh, most people watching this would be like, how you get out negatives, put money in when it's low, wait for it to grow up, uh, go up, excuse me, uh, grow up, go up, same thing. Uh, but however, when you're putting money in, 
make sure you're buying when it's low and as it's progressing back up because all these stocks eventually, you know, get back to the top um, or not necessarily the top, but it kind of progress upward in a sense. Um, so you got to just be patient when it comes to trying to get back from the negative side. Don't go in, just keep that money and the stock is still dropping. No, you don't want to do that. But what you can do on the flip side is put in money when it's low. And then once it starts going up, you will notice that your negative is uh, your negative amount is decreasing. Like right now, I'm negative. Let's say Amazon, I'm negative four dollars. Right. So if I were to put in here at a low point at 11 o'clock, it was ninety three, ninety five. Say if I put in one hundred dollars and it went up to ninety four, I'll be two hundred dollars in but i'd be negative three or negative two dollars just you know just kind of doing that difference um so you put money more money in to kind of get out of the negative but make sure when you put in you put in low not a financial advisor that's just something that i do if i want to get negatives right now i'm not really too much worried about negatives i ride the wave when it go back up if i feel comfortable get my money out of there if not let it keep going up with what's going on like right now they're like okay I see you got what a drop. What a drop is one of my big hitters right now. Uh, it's got a total gain of hundred dollars and whatever. And I just feel like I could take my money out and walk away with a hundred dollar gain, or I could just kind of see what it's gonna do. Give it a year or two. If this stock is still at a hundred and something dollars, and I have put in, or I say I get to my thousand shares, and it's at uh. Let's say I, my total gain is now 150 and it's been like this for two years. Mm, now you're telling me my thousand dollars in two years only made a $200. Nah, it's not really worth it. You gotta, gotta, gotta play the game. You have to play the game. Like they said, if you don't play the lottery, you can't win. So with that being said, that's where I'm at with it. Uh, this is, like I said, just me talking about my portfolio. I will in the next few videos go more in depth about, you know, different stocks that I uh, am thinking about. You know, I could get into it now, but yeah, I get into it just a little bit uh, just to kind of help you all out. Most people say, why you do you choose just the cheaper stocks? Me personally, again, like I said, the game I play right now, I'm choosing the stocks that are new, kind of new and, you know, kind of also affordable. If it's a stock that's once again, let me go to it. If it's a stock that's a dollar and some change, if I put in, you know, 10, if I get 10 shares, do whatever the share price is times 10, that tell me the price that I need to put in to get the 10 shares. And I have 10 shares of that company and I can kind of just see what it's like to make money that way without breaking the bank. You'll, you'll be up, if you put in 10, if you want the 10 shares, you'll be up like, you gotta put in like 16 Maybe $16 or something like that, you know. Maybe I might be off, but whatever it is, you know, you won't be too far from getting that experience and, you know, kind of checking it out. Uh, with that being said, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, I said I was going to show you guys a, a stock that's very cheap. And another reason to add on to, add on to what I was saying, uh, the reason why I'm choosing cheap stocks is because if they are new from like 2021 or 2020, 2019, and they are dropping down and now they coasting at the bottom and they kind of like, you know, just at the ones and twos and three dollars, why not give it a try? Because in 10 years, that stock could potentially plummet up or it could still be plummeting down or doing the motion of the, the wave and all that. Like, you don't know. Take a chance. And at the same time, these are cheap stocks right now. So you don't want to go in, especially me, I'm broke. So I'm not finna go in trying to buy this. And this I messed up the first time. I'm not finna go in and try to buy Netflix stock at $300. If I break down, if I if I put down on $300, right? Say the stock price is what? $320. I go put $320 in. I only have one share. The next time I get 320, I'm going to have two shares compared to going to a stock like, you know, going to a stock like my boy here, Water Drop or Sono, you know, that's 134. So in 10 years, 
what what do they represent? What kind of company it is? Do your research. Because if they start going from $1 to $10, you put $100 in, you put $100 in, you have 100 shares, 100 times 10, do the math. You, hear, you see what I'm saying? So I put $100 in today, 10 years from now, hey, my $100 that I put in got me a little bit more money than I had when I first. That's how I see it. So if you want to play the stock game, that is what it is. Uh, another stock that I've been following that I told you got la about last time in the other video was uh, this one right here, uh, Magna International. They've been going up. Y'all got to gotta watch them. They've been progressing up, so they might have something going on. I mean, they had a drop in 21, but overall, they still have increased since they started. And they started in night. Ooh, they started in nineteen ninety, way back in the day. Man, if I if I would have had, hold on, they started at forty three cent. This is not. Let's say let's be realistic. Let's go like not. Let's go to two thousands because that's when maybe I was of age to to get right and ask my parents or somebody to, hey, can I hold seven dollars and fifteen cents to put into this stock? Or if I would have had that mindset. And that's why I want, you know, future kids and future generations to kind of get accustomed to stocks early because y'all potentially in in ten in twenty years, by the time you twenty, you could be a, a, a billionaire, a billionaire. Like you could be rich as rich as all outdoors. Not saying you're gonna be a billionaire off of this stock. But y'all y'all get what I'm saying. You can be well off just by putting in money now and then wait you know what i'm saying it's a patient game you got to be patient so this is one of the thoughts and another one that i was following is rumble which is also another cheap little stop stock excuse me and it started out nine dollars and it goes up and goes down right now it's at 876 so it done went down which might be a, a good time to buy but who am i who am i let's see what they got going on 2022, they had a good year. Yep, that's what that spike is. Probably, yep. 22, they had a good year. And they went down. That's what it's showing. So, it's a fairly new stock. Not really too mad at it. It is what it is. Uh, what else we got? I think that's it, man. I think that's it. I tried to, tried to get y'all right with certain... Uh, Starting updates. That's my portfolio. Uh, if y'all got any questions, I'll be sure to hit those questions up on the next video. And with that being said, man, I want to say thank you, man. We had 700 and I'm just so excited. Uh, I could talk stocks all day, uh, but I like to keep it short and sweet. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment. I am sure to get to it. I do see all the comments. I see all the bots. I see y'all. I see everything. So with that being said, I try to do my best to, uh, Keep you guys in tune. Keep you guys up to date. And, uh, hey, man, if you're trying to work on a portfolio, start off small, man. It ain't, you know, you don't got to be, oh, I got all this money and I can do stocks. I told my homeboy, I said, listen, man, uh, you don't have to uh, get your pockets right, your money right to listen. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, that was the realest thing I said. Because he was like, yeah, man, I've been trying to get my pockets right. So we're not coming to you. I want to talk about stocks. Nah, let's talk about stocks now. If you broke, if you rich, if you whatever, like, let's talk about it. Because then you can really, you know what I'm saying, know what's going on. Uh, but like I said, that's just my update. So you can clearly see that you can make money from it. Whether you feel like you got to put in a lot of money just to get a little bit back. Sure. But when, when you have a goal and when you have an end result, it feel better, and and when you understand it, it the process is a little bit more smoother. When I started out, this is why I was like this now. That's when I started out. If I had the knowledge that I have now, that's where anything you have the knowledge that you have now and can go back. Man, this would be a different ball game, because now I wish some of the money that I did put in would have went towards another stock. Prime example, water drop. If I put some of that money that I used to put into Netflix, uh, Nike, and all this other stuff, I'm like. If I would have put in, I would have had more than just my one twenty seven, and I probably would have had more than the eight my eight hundred shares. I would have been, I've been rocking out a little bit better. But we, it's all a learning process. Not mad at it. I enjoy it, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Gore T.